I'm Jeannie Jordan, and um, our film here at Full Frame is Raising Renee. And I'm Steve Asher, and we made the film together. Raising Renee is a film that we started when I met Beverly McKeever, who is an artist from here in the Raleigh-Durham area. And I met her uh, during a fellowship at Radcliffe Institute of Advanced Study in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And Beverly and I started talking. I loved her painting, and she told us the story that she, you know, that we talked about a lot, which was that she promised her mom she'd take care of her mentally handicapped older sister if anything happened to her mom. It was a promise that was far away, and anyway, she was so open and so great, we started filming, and, and the rest is... She, she's a painter who, who, her family is a big part of her art, and she always painted her mother and her sister, and they were kind of like film stills in a certain way and they looked like it could be just the art in itself was really interesting to us and we started filming back in 2003 mm -hmm. while we were working on another film and then suddenly her mother got pancreatic cancer and died and this promise which had seemed kind of far in the future suddenly came due so we really wanted to see how the arc of that story would play out over time because of the way we do films, you know, basically, this is our third, um, third film together. All of our films so far have been, we, actually, this is the third film in something we call the Families in Trouble trilogy. One was Troublesome Creek, a Midwestern, about my family's farm. One was So Much So Fast, about two brothers, one of him, them has ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. And then this story was a situation where Beverly was describing something that was maybe going to happen, and she had no idea how she'd handle it. So we just started filming a lot because Beverly is very funny, really open, and her painting was so amazing, and it was sort of autobiographical painting. And the fact that she would let Steve film while she's painting mm -hmm. and would just free associate and, in and, many and, ways. And she said actually that nobody had ever watched her paint before. She'd never let anybody watch her paint. So we felt very privileged that she let us film. Mm -hmm. And in a way, it's a kind of wonderful access to someone's thought process. Watching her paint, she talks about the painting, she talks about her life, she talks about you know, kind of all the different things that are going through her mind in this very unfiltered way. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a real privilege, I think, for the audience also to see an, an artist working in that way and be that intimate with them. I think, I think that we, you know, we were with them, would be with them for chunks of time and we would just really film what, what was there to be filmed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there were times that when, when Beverly let us film her painting, that was, a, because it was a rare opportunity and we knew that she was really letting us do something, we, we would spend that time with her alone. Renee would be doing something else. And, and when Renee's doing potholders, we would film with Renee when she was doing potholders. So, I mean, they're both artists in a, in, in a certain way. And Renee takes her potholder making very seriously. And, um, and it's been making potholders wildly thinking she'll, as the film comes out, there will be more interest in them, <laughs> which I think there will be, because they're great. But I, I think there's also a way that when you're around Renee, if you just meet her, she's very quiet, and a lot of people don't, can be around her and not know her. After you spend a little bit of time with her, she opens up and she starts talking, and you find out that she's really, at times, amazingly articulate and quite wise about the world. And I think, in a way, the film mirrors that in that you, Beverly is the first person that you meet and she's very vocal and you, you know you're brought into her life and then as you get to spend time with Renee she opens up and you discover all sorts of things that you didn't think she was capable of. You know I know I've made enough films we've made enough films that I know there's no way you can know what viewers will take away. People take away very different things and people project themselves onto situations. Um, one of the themes that have, have been, has been in all of our films is that none of us know what we would do if. If you were losing your business or your farm, if you had a terrible disease, if your older mentally handicapped sister came to live with you when you were just getting ready to you know, go off on a fellowship. Or, and that, 
we would like people to feel how incredibly complicated those decisions are in families and also just how resilient many families are and funny and strong and I would hope that people would see that both Beverly and Renee changed and we filmed long enough that you can kind of see their relationship change and um, that's I would just hope people would see the complexity of it and um, and like that.